guys, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I want to get into a lesson that's inspired by the elder Mawatazak out there in Los Angeles. His video that he posted about how there was an angel that was watching him and the other Akim at camp. Okay. And this is a uh, very inspiring, you know, uh, lesson or right, video that he made. All right, because, you know, it shows you that Yahweh Shemiah Shai has his angels watching us. Okay. All right. And, uh, you know, what? let me get this scripture real quick. This is Psalms 34 and 7, and it reads, The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth round about that fear him and delivereth them. And that's what I want to talk about. Okay. If you have these angels, you know, watching the men of the Lord, that means deliverance is going to come very, very soon. Okay? You know, this, this should really be boosting, you know, the, the spirits of brothers right now. All right? We're really getting closer to the end of this thing. You know? Because you got to remember, it says here in the Matthew, the 24th chapter, and let me get this real quick. talks about how the Lord is going to gather his elect okay this is um this is Matthews 24 and 31 and it says here and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other you see the lord is going to send his angels to gather the elect okay you know and that's you know when you know the very end basically occurs you know that's when uh um you know those uh, uh nuclear missiles are shot off okay and they touch down in different parts of the world okay of course, we know here in America, the, 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 this is where the most missiles are going to hit. This is the, the great destruction and also what? The great deliverance. Okay? Because things are simultaneously. As, as, as Babylon the Great gets destroyed, there's also going to be that great deliverance that occurs. Alright, let me get that as well real quick and... Um, what is that? Um, I believe that is. Oh man, what is that? Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Let's get this real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon 18 and uh, 7 and 8, and it reads here Wisdom of Solomon 7, 18, excuse me, 18 and 7. And it reads So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. For wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, by the same, thou didst glorify whom thou hast called. Okay? And you see, there's always a balance, okay, to the Lord. You know, that's Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to Yahweh Bashimel Shai. So as destruction occurs, there's also going to be deliverance, you know? As that anger and wrath hits, you know, you know Esau, the heathens, and the two thirds, there's going to be mercy. On the elect, all right, and we're, we're you know we're seeing signs right now. Hey, we just read that in the book of Psalms, how the, uh, the the Lord's angel encampeth round about them that fear Him, and delivereth them. You see, all these things tie tie together. You know, we're getting really really close to the end. You know, the Lord's allowing us to see these things to to to, to give us that uh, uh, faith booster. Okay? 
You know, the Lord hasn't fors uh, forsaken us. It's about that time. Because, look, let me get this too. <laughs> let me get this too. This is a, a, another heavy scripture too. This is the book of Amos chapter 9. I'm going to start at 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay? And that sin, sinful kingdom... Okay, it's got... It, it, I'll, I'll say this. It's a twofold. Alright? First and foremost, this is actually talking about wicked Israelites. Okay? That's the first, you know, layer to this. But we're going to use the second layer... Which is that that kingdom is actually talking about America in these times, okay? America is that sin, sinful kingdom, okay? All right, and the eyes of, of the Lord are watching. And the eyes of the Lord are talking about these angels. You see, everything's being recorded in, in, in this place. You know, you know Babylon. All right, aka America. The Lord knows all the wickedness that's taking place in the, uh, you know, in, in this land. All right, and eventually, the Lord is going to destroy from off the face of the earth. You see? But what does it say there? Saving meaning, except that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. And that's going into the elect being saved. All right. And you see the Lord, he, he, he's he got his angels watching us because that destruction's coming, man. Okay? As the, you know, these angels are, you know, documenting all the wickedness that's going on, the angels are also documenting all the righteousness that the men of the Lord are doing. Okay? And the followers and believers, those who are returning unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, who are repenting and changing their ways. Doesn't the scripture say the Lord's not going to forget our, our, um, our works and labor of love? Okay? The Lord's not unrighteous. He's going to remember what we're doing. And you got to remember right now we're sending up these spiritual sacrifices. Okay? To, to, to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right? And those spiritual sacrifices are, are, are uh, these, you know, righteous spiritual sacrifices are, 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 are pleasing Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, man. Okay? So the Lord is is now, you know, is now pleased with us. And if the Lord's pleased with us, that means that means He's gonna fight for us. And that means, you know, it, 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 it's wartime. Okay. Doesn't the scriptures talk about how, uh, 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 how the uh, the let me get there. You know what? talks about uh, uh, Michael the Archangel okay defending uh, defending us give me one moment I think that's in Daniel's if I'm not mistaken yep right here this is a uh, Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 and it reads and at that time shall Michael stand up talking about Michael the Archangel okay um which is also spoken about in Revelation 12 and 7. Now he's going to, uh, let me get that. This is Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Okay, and the dragon represents Esau. And the dragon fought, uh, fought and his angels. All right. And that's talking about basically those, um, you know, fighter jets. See, there's going to be war. In the, in the heavens, meaning the you know the sky, okay. You see, they, the scriptures say in the in Second Ezra, the uh, I believe it's the thirteenth chapter, maybe. I know it's in Second Ezra. I forget exactly where. I believe it's thirteen, though. It talks about how one realm shall fight against another, okay. So you're gonna have a the, the, the spiritual realm come in. And, and fight against you know this uh, uh you know this physical realm here all right the angels are actually going to go uh toe to toe with esau but i'll say this 
Esau's gonna lose terribly. All right, but let me get this. This is uh, back in that uh, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. See, he's gonna fight for us. All right, you know, uh, or I'll say they are gonna fight for us. Because it's not just going to be uh, Michael the Archangel. It's going to be many angels. Alright. You're going to have Yahweh Shai. All the, you know, the, the mighty archangels. And then the other angels. They're, they're, they're going to fight for us. You see? And it says, And there shall be a, a time of trouble such as, such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. You see? We're going to be delivered during these times. Okay? You know, there's so many accounts of uh, uh, the angels, you know, uh, uh, fighting for us. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, the time in the Maccabees. Thinking about the during the time of Elijah, you know. And you see, we're coming into the, the end time. And, 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 and you know, with all the you know, uh, all these you know great perilous times and you know calamities that are about to hit. There's there's also going to be great miracles that that, that occur. All right. You see, they the, those that serve Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, they're going to get that protection. You see, and that's you know how I saw, um, saw it when I uh, saw that video. The angels are, are are showing themselves to us because we're getting to that time period where the great deliverance is about to occur. All right. Well, we don't got too much time in Babylon. You know, it's it's about to be that you know, you know, that time of great deliverance and great destruction. You know, and then hey, it's it's, it's going to be the kingdom of heaven, all right? Which is you know the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, which you know that's also what going to be the uh, the kingdom of the Israelites. That kingdom that's going to you know last forever and ever. You know, the world without end. You know? You see? This is what's coming. And so brothers, they, they, and you know, sisters, who's, who's ever listening to this video, that, that, that video shall boost your spirit. And I highly recommend you watch it. You either watch it on the Elder Mo, Mowata Zox page. And if, you know, if you didn't catch it on that page, it's on the Apostle Tahar's page right now. He re-uploaded it. Okay. Watch that video. And, and and be you know um be uplifted and and, and be grateful and thankful. Cuz hey, Yahweh Shemel Shai is is moving for us, okay? He's making the moves on, you know, for us. See? But uh, I'm going to end this lesson. Hopefully whoever was listening was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.